what is up YouTube so I have school tomorrow which sucks a lot but I thought why not go catch some troops on a fly rod but even better I'm gonna bring my friends so let's go catch some dang trout Okay, I think we are ready. Holy free holy, it is hot out here with these waders on. So what I'm rocking with is this goofy looking woolly bugger that I tied today. Don't know if it's gonna work, kinda just curious on how it works, but or how it swims. So if it isn't really producing or anything, then I'll end up switching probably just to a smaller black and yellow one, but We'll throw this dude and see, see if it gets anything. That's not look too bad. I've seen a bunch of suckers, not a whole lot of trout yet, but I'm also right by the bridge so I'm not too worried about it. This thing does have some pretty good action. It's kind of a little big for here but we'll throw her a little bit at least. Oh there we go. He whacked that one. I don't know if you guys can see that. He looks really pink. This might be a pretty one. Come on, Junior. Get on in here. Oh yeah, it is a very beautiful trout. All right, let's see if we can do that again. All right, I think I'm going to make a change. Thinking we throw this guy. Black and yellow with a little bit of gold. That's gonna do it. Boom. Dang, I just had like three of them come up and miss it. That was kind of embarrassing. We go not a bad one not a bad one indeed Let's see if we can keep him on he's giving me some no <laughs> damn it that was a good one popped off though wasn't huge but I would have taken her she was a thick Tanya indeed Oh, come on. Yeah, no, oh, he missed it, dang it. Come on, whack it again. No. Oh, damn it. There we go. I mean, hopefully we can keep this guy on. Went through a bit of a, a bit of a lull there, not catching anything. He's got a follower too. Had a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of misses, a bunch of follows. Finally, got fish number two in. Should be fish number like five, but not an absolutely massive guy, but we'll take him. 
not quite as pretty as the first guy, but not a bad size. We'll definitely take him. There's another one. He whacked it. Stay out of them roots, boy. It's kind of not a good hook set, so I'm not sure how well he's gonna stay on, but, oh, he's definitely knows how to use the current, that is for sure. As long as we can keep him out of that big old root wad. Oh, that was close. So far, so good. Come on in, buddy. You tired yet? Nope, okay, cool, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on back, nope. I said out of the roots, dummy. All right, come on, playtime's over. There you go, bud. Not a bad one again. Definitely put up, a, oh yeah, he was, he was stuck pretty well. I'm not sure that he would have had a heck of a time getting, getting off that hook. On the old black, <laughs> this thing looks rough. The old black and yellow woolly bugger I tied. All right, another butte in the books. Get a nice release of this guy. My buddy. All right, off to the depths. Let's see if we can get ourselves another one. Oh, got ourselves a big one. Come on, though. Come here, buddy. Pretty little dude. There's some fish out there. I can't tell if those are trout or if they're suckers. They're not, eh, it might be a sucker. Yeah, I think a bunch of these are suckers. Oh, that's not a sucker. Hello, Mr. Trout. Ah, oh, bud. Come here. Come here. This one, Patricia. This definitely looks like a Patricia to me. Chill out, Patricia. I've had enough of that. All right, bye, Patricia. Thanks for playing. Oh. Oh my gosh, she loves me so much. <laughs> Get out. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> okay, now bye. Okay, so turns out they weren't all suckers, which is good for me. Oh, free holy, I'm all wrapped up. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see all of these dudes. They're kind of just everywhere. Straight up, got freaking game Larry the Lobster out here. Look at the size of this dude. That is ridiculous. Big old claws. This is what the thick Tanya is reading right here. Yeet. All right, guys, turn the camera off. Just hooked up. It's kind of trying to get me stuck in this tree over here, but. This limb's kind of making it difficult over here. Come on, buddy. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Holy, how did he come out of there? He was so deep in the roots. Let's see if I, can, if I can get him over this limb right here. Come on. Oh, barely. <laughs> Trying. Now there's less stuff for him to get stuck in over here. Oh, okay. Nope. I was wrong. So plenty of stuff. But let's see if we can get this dude in the net. Thank you, current. That's a good one right there. He got a little bigger than when he got in the net. So he can get nice and revived. So you still need to grow and get bigger, buddy. He's ready to go. He's looking pretty, pretty amped up. Get him back in his current. There he goes. getting that current flowing through his gills that'll get him good and revived and he'll go and find a nice spot that doesn't have as much current that he can just kind of hang out at and hopefully he'll get bigger maybe we can catch him again that was a good fish i didn't realize he was quite that big but There's the little guy. Kind of a longer, deeper stretch here. Looks like there's a bunch of fish in there, but I can't really tell which ones are suckers and which ones are trout. Man, this guy's super pretty. He's really pink. Not bad. Just look at him. Still got his juvenile spots on him. Gone. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Never caught anything besides a trout in here. Come here, buddy. What are you? It's like a hybrid of some sort. I think it might be definitely green sunfish and probably bluegill. Kind of cool. It's not expecting that. So I know you guys are probably wondering why isn't this dummy makes stupid face fishing this stretch right here because it looks beautiful and there is actually a reason for that and that's just because it's basically bedrock right here so there's not like it's not gravel or anything and I don't know if it's just because there's not anywhere for like bugs and crawdads and stuff to hide but it just seems like trout don't usually like to hang out in the more shallow bedrock areas and if you don't know what bedrock is it's basically this flat stuff right here it's just Instead of being gravel, it's just flat slab, flat slabs. I want you guys to tell me what your thoughts on fishing bedrock is for trout. If you've had any luck doing that, or if you think it kind of sucks too, because that's kind of where I'm at right now. That was not a bad day. I think we'll end the video there though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it for sticking with me to the end. I want you guys to leave me suggestions down in the comment section below. Just tell me, you know, what flies you want me to use out here and we'll see if they work. Looks like we're back to the car. I'll see you guys later.